You're right. Nikki Trace. The man who stood in front of the tanks at Tiananmen Square was indeed incredibly brave, and his actions are still remembered and admired by many people around the world. The term tank man is simply a descriptive name that was given to him by the media and the public after the incident. Because his identity was unknown, people needed a way to refer to him, and the name Tank Man seemed to capture the essence of his courageous act of defiance. While some people may feel that the name Tank Man doesn't fully capture the depth of his bravery and sacrifice, it has become a shorthand way of referring to him and the iconic image of him standing alone in front of the tanks. Yeah, he's uh, definitely, you know, one of my hero, okay? He is a hero, man. That's an interesting perspective, Nikki Tricks. I think we're suggesting that the tank man was not just a symbol of resistance, but also a shield or protector for the people of Tiananmen Square and for the ideals of freedom and democracy. This interpretation makes sense, given that he put himself in harm's way to stand up to the military tanks and defend the rights of the protesters. His actions may have helped to draw attention to the injustices that were taking place and to inspire others to take a stand against oppression. Regardless of how we interpret his actions, there's no denying that the tank man was an incredibly courageous individual who made a powerful statement about the importance of standing up for what you believe in, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Yeah, that was the uh, ultimate resistance, right? To the, you know, the studies, you know? Those, uh, cabal, right? Yes, Nikki Tricks, the Tiananmen Square protests and the Tank Man incident are often seen as a symbol of resistance against authoritarianism and oppression. The protests began as a student-led movement calling for greater political freedoms and democratic reforms in China, but they quickly grew into a broader movement that involved people from all walks of life. The Tank Man's act of defiance against the military tanks became a powerful symbol of the protesters' determination to stand up for their rights and resist the Chinese government's crackdown on dissent. His actions captured the attention of people around the world and helped to shed light on the human rights abuses that were taking place in China. Yeah, it's uh, unfortunate that, uh, you know, most of the young Chinese people doesn't know that they are gonna happen, right? The, because the media cover, cover up in China, okay? So most of the young people, they don't know, you know, that that event actually happened in the, in the past, in the Chinese history. You make a valid point, Nikki Tricks. It's unfortunate that many young people in China today may not be aware of the events that took place at Tiananmen Square in 1989 due to the Chinese government's efforts to suppress information and control the media. The Chinese government has worked hard to erase the memory of the Tiananmen Square protests and the Tank Man incident. And many young people may not have access to accurate or unbiased information about these events. This has contributed to a sense of historical amnesia and a lack of awareness about the struggles for freedom and democracy that took place in China in the past. It's important for people around the world to remember and honor the sacrifices made by those who stood up for their rights and freedoms in Tiananmen Square and elsewhere and to continue to work towards a world where all people are free to express their beliefs and opinions without fear of repression. But I think it was about five years ago, so, you know, the people in Hong Kong rise up, right? You know, people, uh, population of the Hong Kong is about seven million people, right? And uh, my friend told me, you know, over the, you know, half of the population went outside on the street, you know, and uh, protested, you know, almost over, over half of the population. Yes, that's right, Nikki Tricks. In 2019, there were large-scale protests in Hong Kong that lasted for several months and involved millions of people. The protests were initially sparked by proposed changes to extradition laws that many people feared would undermine Hong Kong's autonomy and civil liberties. However, the protests quickly grew into a broader movement calling for greater democracy and accountability from the Hong Kong government and the Chinese government. The protests were met with a harsh crackdown by the Hong Kong police and the Chinese government, and many protesters were arrested and jailed. However, 
the protests continue to inspire people around the world and help to raise awareness about the ongoing struggle for democracy and human rights in Hong Kong, the Hong Kong protests were a powerful example of people coming together to stand up for their rights and freedoms, and they serve as a reminder of the importance of continued vigilance and activism in the face of authoritarianism and oppression. But the fact is, you know, the Hong, Hong Kong government successfully, you know, suppressed the... Yes, Nikki Trix, unfortunately, that's correct, despite the massive scale of the protests and the widespread support they enjoyed among the people of Hong Kong, the protests were ultimately suppressed by the Hong Kong government and the Chinese government. The authorities used a variety of tactics to crack down on the protests, including the use of force, mass arrests, and the implementation of new laws and regulations designed to stifle dissent. Many protesters and pro-democracy activists were arrested and imprisoned and some were even forced to flee Hong Kong for their safety. The Hong Kong government also implemented a new national security law that gave them broad powers to suppress dissent and silence critics. The suppression of the Hong Kong protests was a significant blow to the pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong and a sobering reminder of the challenges facing those who seek to challenge authoritarianism and defend their rights and freedoms. I'm just telling you that the power of those the government, right? You know, even though half of the population went outside, you know, on the, out on the street and protested, but... Uh... You make a good point, Nikki Trix. The Hong Kong protests serve as a reminder of the power of the government and the challenges facing those who seek to challenge authoritarianism. Even when a large percentage of the population comes together to protest and demand change, it can be difficult to overcome the power of a government that is determined to maintain control and suppress dissent. This is especially true...